Hi everyone, this tutorial is brought to you by brightech.co.uk, part of our photo restoration series. And in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is showing you how to remove a person or an object from a dodgy old background or a torn, damaged background that's irreparable. Now, this probably could be repaired, this background, but just for this purpose, we're going to pretend it can't be repaired and we need to remove this person. Now there's tons of different ways of doing this. Um, you've got the polygonal lasso tool uh, where you just go around the body and just remove the body. Or you've got the magic wand or the eraser tool, magic eraser tool. Or you've got the uh, extract tool uh, which is pretty good for people that are just starting out to use Photoshop. So we'll just show you the, uh, um, it's in filter, extract, like so click smart highlighting and basically trace round it's that simple it's a lot easier for people that are just starting out because it does a lot of the hard work for you and then once you've traced him all out like that but hopefully a little bit better than what I've done you click on the bucket on the left hand side at the top fill him up click OK and then we have our person who's out onto the background so what we need to do now, you're thinking, oh yeah, it's made a bit of a, a mess, which it has, and that's easy rectified. You just click on this tool, paint history brush, and you just proceed in putting back the bits you've missed. It's that simple. Now I find this one of the easy ways of taking people out. Um, you just back like so. Now you're thinking oh he's gone a bit mad there and missed them bits so then you just click on your eraser tool and then you just take out the bits that you've missed. Now obviously you need to take really special care doing this and getting a nice clean tight job so it's nice and clean. As you can see I've just chopped his shoulder a bit but I'm not too worried because this is not a keeper, it's just for the tutorial. So now imagine that's all finished and it's cleaned. We're now gonna we're ready to transfer him out. Now as you see the background is all gone and we've now got a, this person out and we've only got to repair a small amount of work. So there's a few ways we can do this. We can use the swatches of the background dibber that I used to take samples of the background and you could make a background like this say and drag and drop this person like so you need to click, click on this part there and then you grab your person to the new part like so and it's that simple so now we've got him in here we can now blend and make good our background. It's as simple as that really. Um, it's the same process with the polygonal lasso tool. You'd come back with the same, it all ends to the same place. We all end up with the same person cut out and the process is all the same. It's just different ways of getting there, that's all. Um, if you want to change the background, if you didn't want to use a paint background and you wanted to use, say for instance, a pre-made background then that's fine you just do the same thing you bring up your background uh, that you've got so for instance it was this one something like so and you just now just drag him out away there so we can see the background now this is a studio background that you can get off the internet or make your own and you just basically drag him straight in there like so make that large and push the shift key and drag them down so it stays in proportion and just keep doing that until you get him to fit in the, into the background like so and once you've done that you click on the tick at the top and he's in there and then you can crop off these white bits if you wanted to like so and then we have him in here
Oh, that, that doesn't look too bad. And we can now clean this little small area up. And that's it. It's as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please join the uh, channel and comment. Thanks very much. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.